Howdy! This video aims to show how I used Inspire Design Explorer to optimize my little bracket that you see here. I was able to design it all in Inspire CAD and then use the Structural Analysis and Design Explorer tools to optimize it. A uh, key note about the Design Explorer tools is that they run on variables. Um, those variables run on CAD that has been made in Inspire. So if you're going to do the Design Explorer, it needs to be running on CAD features that you have done in Inspire. So we can't import other CAD geometry and then expect Design Explorer to work on those. Barring adding fillets, etc., to existing geometry. So quick tour of the part. It's got this little L cutout that my plastic L trim is going to go inside and glue to. It's got these two little holes on either side that my nylon straps will attach to. They'll loop through and then pull on. So if I go up to the view tab and find the construction history, you can see all the CAD operations that I used on this part. And we can roll them back to see them one by one. So the first one was an extrude of just that L shape and the thickness of the material that I wanted around it. Then going to the next thing I did, this is for the nylon holes. So I made a little hole and dimensions outside. Um, so this is pretty much the skeleton of the design. It's got an L cutout and it's got cuts for the nylon straps. And this is where my design variables are made. Um, I can go and edit this extrude and see my first design variable is bracket length set to one inch right now. So that's the length of this extrusion. If you didn't have a variable there, you could click on this button, create variable and make a new variable. Or you could click on existing ones here. I can do this again in my sketches, which I have. So this variable here controls uh, the thickness of this portion of the part. It's titled inset. And that could be another variable controlled by this button. And finally, I have my third variable from this extrude, which is height, controlled by this button again. So that's how you set up variables in Inspire, and you can click on this variables button to review them, and you can even modify them here as well, and they should update live. The rest of this part is just fancy fillets and a few cuts for manufacturing, like the LED strips will glue on right there, so they have a little curve to them for ease of gluing at the edges. So that's my variable setup. It's important to do a structural analysis before you do any design explorer studies, just to make sure that everything is working as you expect it to. Um, so I set up a linear static solve for this. I should turn on all these forces and supports to showcase them. So I have supports on the inside where it will glue to the L trim. I have a force at each hole where the nylon straps are pulling. This little force has a little bit of an angle to it, as if the strap was pulling in this direction a little bit, not just in plane with the bracket. So I've gone up to structure. I've clicked on this play button to analyze the part. I used a custom element size because I wanted to make sure I had at least one or two elements in this fillet region. More accurate is nice to get those second order elements. I click ran. And then once it was done, I could review the results with this button here and contour things like factor of safety. In the factor of safety legend, I can drag the slider down to 1.5 and see all the areas that are below 1.5 factor of safety. So once you know that your structure is analyzable, everything is working as you expect it to, you can go up to the design explorer and you got these tools to set up a design explorer run. First one is going to be explorations. I'll click on here. You can see my existing design explorer run titled optimization optistruct. It's got everything checked because it's got all my variables. It's got all my stresses, mass, constraint objectives. All that stuff is in here. I'm going to click on this play button to make a new exploration. You have your choice of DOE or optimization. I check these buttons to confirm that I'm interested in these in my study. Here we have the variables that were made earlier in those sketches and extrusions. You can set the value, the initial value, as well as the min and max range for each variable. What's cool about this is you can click on this preview slider and move it back and forth. And this was going to be good practice to do to make sure that as you move the sliders around, your CAD is not changing in any really weird ways. Up next, I have responses. I clicked on this button to create responses, but you can also click on this plus button here. And that will allow you to create a new response, displacement for the model, stress for the model, etc. 
My responses for this study were von Mises stress using that load case and total mass of the model. So responses are things that you're interested in monitoring. Up next to the goals tab, we have my constraint of stress. This equals a factor of safety of 1.5 for my material. And we have the objective of minimizing the mass just so that I get an efficient structure. Here you can click on the plus button to create either objectives or constraints. With all that set up, I would go to the play button and set number of runs to a reasonable number for your study. For me, I set 20. Multi-execution is going to run two instances at a time, two instances of OptiStruct. So that can be good if you want to go faster, but it might come at a license cost. Um, you're going to definitely want to check out your Design Explorer options. Um, key here is the run options. You're going to want to make sure that your analysis solver is what you want it to be, whether it's OptiStruct or SimSolid. Design Explorer can run both. If it's OptiStruct, you have the choice of the number of CPUs to use. And if it's SimSolid, you have the choice of number of adaptive solutions to use and these adaptive features and adaptive thin solids. Then in the run options here, you want to make sure that your speed accuracy settings are as you expect, whether it's more accurate, custom, etc. Make sure all your load cases are appropriate. And then you click run and you'd be good to go. After that has solved, we would click on this button up here to evaluate results. I need to go back to explorations and make the first one current. Then I can review the results. And they show up in this results explorer browser where I get a table of every single run with every single variable that I requested. So I have all my variables in these first three columns. I have my stress response, mass response, objectives, constraints, and whether it violated those constraints or not. If I scroll down to the bottom, this particular optimization had its optimal run on run 20, where I see that around one inch was good, 0.25 and 0.2 for inset and height. All that was good and optimal. I can right click on that run and load results from it. I can contour factor of safety with my typical 1.5 factor of safety. Looks pretty good. You can click on this button to review the mesh. You can even right click here and apply variables from run 20. And that will reset your variables to whatever things it has determined are good. And then you could file save as STL. And that STL model would be of the dimensions that you like. And you could send it to your printer, which is what I did. Lastly, it's worth mentioning that we have these tabs here where you can review some of your design exploration variables. I like to go to evaluation and look at um, stress, for example. Typically, it will come up blank, but if you just click into this plot and click F on your keyboard, it'll fit everything to screen. And you can also zoom in and out with your mouse cursor. Both axes can be zoomed in and out on, or to zoom in in the main window. Again, F to fit to screen. So you can use this to review as it went along. How well did it converge to a particular variable? You can even go to scatter plot and plot stuff like bracket length versus stress, and then click F in the plot to see that result. Well, that's all I have for you guys. It was a fun study for me to run. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comment section.